Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here and this is another quick tutorial <laughs> if you are wanting to take the hoop from on your body to off your body and then back on again because that is an epic way to connect with movement and flow. And if you are interested also in the infinite possibilities of creative transitions from on body to off body, like if you want to, to rock out lots of different combinations or, or bring in some new flair to your hooping, then I'm doing a whole workshop online, you, me, hoop, big collaboration on off creative transitions. <laughs> it's a lot, link below. When I first started to hoop, I was rocking the on body and absolutely loving it, but there came a point when I needed to take the hoop off and I learned this lift off and then the drop on and I thought I was a total magician and I was. And if you wanna learn those moves, there are tutorials all around. You can check out the 28 day hoop starter pack, which I'll put down below. And then after a while, I realized that there are infinite creative possibilities to take the hoop from on the body to off the body and back on again so that we can be in continuous flow. So grab your hoop and let's try one of those possibilities right now. Okay, so let's say we start on our waist. One of the ways that we can start to create our own possibilities or our own pathways is to think about where the hoop could go. Now, most of all, the hoop <laughs> tends to go down, um, but sometimes it can go off to the left side. Sometimes it can go off to the right side. It could go straight up. It could spiral up. There are many different ways. In this tutorial or for this trick, we are actually going to work with the hoop's desire to go to the floor, but we are going to assist it a little. So here is what this transition will look like. From the waist, we're going to take the hoop down, step through, bring the hoop back up and on. So let's break that down. So I prefer at the moment to spin around to my left. If you spin around to your right, I will show you that next, or you can just mirror. So we're going to start off and we're spinning around to the left. I'm going to grab the hoop with my left hand and let it drop down. So if that is a little tricky for you, you can use two hands at the back. Otherwise, also use the technique of turning in a circle. So when we turn with the hoop, we tend to be able to synchronize our catch or our break or our movement a little bit more smoothly rather than just like abrupt. Your total choice of technique. So turning in a circle, grabbing the hoop, and we're going to step out if it's in your left hand with your left foot or if you would like to, if it's going around to the right with your right foot. Then what you're going to do is use your hand, drop the hoop right down, use your hand to bring it around to the front, your second hand that is, and that's my right hand. Then we step through. So raise the hoop up, leg goes through, head goes through, opposite arm goes through. If you have not watched my crotch trap tutorial, you probably have, right? If you haven't, link below or somewhere here. Then what we're going to do is we have some tension and the tension is between the right hand that's holding the hoop up at the back, could be your left hand, and it's sitting against my back leg, which is my left, and my front leg, which is my right. If I let go of this hoop, the tension of my legs will just let the hoop drop. So what we're going to do is try that again, just breaking it down, getting used to it. So break and step, same leg, same hand, grab the hoop and bring it around, weight in the back leg, front leg goes forward, head opposite arm, step down and then we're going to take our, for me it's my left leg, back heel to our booty and once we do that we can let the hoop flip and I like to catch with two hands. Okay, so, so we go from the tension in the legs to catching with two hands. Now, the momentum of the hoop is going to bring it over and on. Of course, you could do a whole bunch of different things, but just for this one, over and on. Now, if I just try to spin it from here, of course, it's going to drop. So I personally like to hold with one hand, transition my, like, ghost with the other hand, and then push it on. So let's try. 
Spin, this is spinning to the left, of course, you can be mirroring. Spinning to the left, left hand, left leg, right hand, bring the hoop around, weight in the left leg, go through with the right, the head, the left arm, step down, tension, brings the hoop up to the front to catch, bring the hoop on, goes the hand and spin. How did that feel? Let's see if I can actually do it <laughs> in the opposite direction. So over to the right, step out with the right, Bring the hoop around, step through, tension, heel to the booty. It is possible in both directions. <laughs> so really what's happening or uh, where that, this idea came from is that oftentimes I would totally in the beginning like lift the hoop up and off. But... As we know, that's not the only pathway that the hoop can take. So give this one a few more goes. Let me know if you come up with any other cool, creative, amazing ways to take the hoop on and off the body. Oh, and also, of course, this could just be an on to off body transition. So maybe you're doing your waist hooping or any part of your body, honestly, and then you're going to break, step, take the hoop off, and then you're completely in off-body bliss. Uh, it doesn't have to go back onto the body. But oftentimes, if you are practicing a lot of on-body or if that's your jam, at least for now, for today, for this practice, uh, there can be times when you want to do something a little bit more playful and then back onto it. Um, and if you're performing and you're often doing a lot of on-body stuff, uh, that can be like a quick little little jam that you do, maybe some breaks, step, step, through, on, but, but, hit the beat. However, as we know, hooping can flow with whatever style, whatever emotion, whatever feeling you are moving through. Oh, and if you didn't see my tutorial for that little like hook J move, I'll put that link somewhere around here, wherever it might be. Don't forget to check out the links down below. See you at my workshop on off-body creative transitions. Let me know how you go. Big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.